So what you were hearing there is a jam I made with Groove Rider GR16 in the first couple minutes of downloading the new update. I was super excited about this huge update from Jim Audio which gave us the wavetables, the 8 bar limit on patterns, and a whole lot more. There are a few really great easy ways to utilize wavetables within Groove Rider. The first of which is to record automation so that when you hit the record button here you can tweak this knob and it will record everything you do into the track. Once it hits the end of say the four bar loop or whatever you've set to the limit of the loop the recording will stop so that you don't overwrite what you just did. So a technique I see in a lot of Jim's um, presets with the wavetable is this type of thing. When you trigger it, it goes through the wavetable in this manner and that is achieved by going into the modulation and setting it to oscillator EG up or EG down but EG up does what you're seeing here on the wavetable and sweeping through the wave positions. Another important way to expand your use of wavetables in Groove Rider is by downloading and installing new ones that you like that meet your style needs. There are so many different things you can do with wavetables. I went into the um, presets and purchased Bank 2, which gave a bunch of great new patches here. Not only wavetable ones, but a bunch of other really useful uh, presets that uh, are super useful for a ton of different uh, music styles. I want to show you how to import wavetables in the serum.wave format into Groove Writer so that you can expand this out to unlimited amounts of sounds. This site had a lot of good free wavetables in serum format. Unfortunately not all of them that were on this page are in serum.wave format. There's some others so uh, but the ones that are are high quality so I'd recommend going to this site for some free wavetables. Go to any website that provides good uh, free serum format wavetables and there's a bunch of them out there so I will try to in the comments or in the description leave some information on ones that I found work well. Once you have those you can install them just by opening up the files and saying open in Groove Writer. So let me show you how to do that. There are a lot of ways you can get the wavetables into Groove Writer but one of the ways would be with AudioShare. After you download the file you can open it in AudioShare to preview it to see what the the sound is like. So let's that's a nice little growl. So we've got that and then there's a two-step process because it needs to be in a special folder within Groove Writer. So when you have the file you hit the share and then you say open in Groove Writer and say yes now unfortunately what that'll do is it will put it in your samples folder um, and user and we don't want it there it's you need it to see it's right there um, I've already moved this once but what you do is you need to move that from there into the folder that, um, that Groove Writer looks for for the wavetables. Uh, this is from past, but I'll show you how to do that. So if you exit out of that and go to your files, let's do that again. If you go to your files app, and then you have to get to on my iPad, and then go to Groove Writer, and then you see I have my folders. I don't think this existed until more recently because I definitely didn't have this option. Now you see the wave 
right there. So here's the file I want. I would just drag this and put it in the wave. Uh, now I already have it there, so it says keep both. Uh, I'm going to stop. But you can see that this is where your wavetables need to be for them to be turned into wavetables and used in GrooveRider. So I hope that's helpful as maybe some of you who are trying this are getting lost. This is, um, took me a few minutes to figure that out so I'm glad to help pass that on and share more info. I've gone back to a lot of my songs that I've already built on GrooveRider and I'm adding wavetables to get these some textures that can evolve throughout them. This example is for a pad and it just does some amazing things to tone. Before this was a rather boring pad and now we've got some amazing evolution to the sound as it goes.